Welcome to Success Factor Series. The one and only solution to achieve lifelong success. Success is perhaps the most sought after seven letter word in history. The rich and poor alike seek it, the weak hope on it, and the strong pray that it won't elude them. In this mind altering, paradigm shifting, and eye opening book, the pillars of life are listed, which include health, wealth, relationship which is family and friends, love, peace, and happiness. These pillars define the parameters by which every individual on earth hopes, or may I say, expects to be successful. The reader will find each chapter to be different from the others, both in the message it addresses, and the pillar of success it represents. The reader must be aware that this book is not a spiritual book, but it does contain several spiritual lessons. This is not a self-help book, but it will help whoever understands the principles embedded in it. From the foundation of success which speaks of vision to the pillars of career and professional success, this book is a classic that can be understood by any individual. Mastering You brings together several laws and principles, from nature's law to energy's law, from the laws of karma and dharma to the law of attraction. In the end, after outlining 100 factors for success, Dr. San Kumar brings the reader home to the most important factor that needs mastering, that is, the individual. When a person masters themselves, they can and will achieve personal, spiritual, career, professional, social, and legacy success. One thing is sure about this spectacular book, you won't put it down in a hurry. Introduction. Pillars of Life, and Levels of Success. From time immemorial, People have been searching for the definition of this seven-letter word. Just like most intangible concepts, success means different things to different people. For some, it means the accumulation of wealth, riches, and other material things, while for others, it means the fruition of a dream, goal, or vision. When it comes to success, there is no one definition that can be accepted as being cast in stone. Interestingly, like every concept in life, success has a beginning, and for some people, it has an end. For others, success is more like a paradoxical concept, because it is both a destination and a journey. On 6 July 1912, in Stockholm, Sweden, the first ever ratified 100m sprint race occurred, when the American Donald Lippincott ran it in 10.6 seconds, and was crowned the fastest man alive. To him, this was success. To him and the rest of the athletic community, this was a level of unprecedented success. Lippincott's speed seemed inhuman at that time, and the question on everyone's lips was, how could a human run so far in such a short time? The sporting world thought the measure of success in the 100m sprint was 10.6 seconds until 1936 when the record was broken by the Swedish Lennart Strandberg who ran the 100m in 10.3 seconds. Then, in 1968, Jim Hines broke the successful record with a time of 9.9 .9 seconds, and today, the record is held by retired Jamaican sprinter Usain Bolt, who ran the 100m in 9.58 seconds. Dear reader, the above example is just one that shows how elusive and indefinite the definition of success can be. For all humans, success is measured according to what I will call the six pillars of life. That is, both the athlete and the man on the street, can and do measure their success with the progression and regression of their lives according to these six distinct pillars. These pillars are health, wealth, family and friends, love, peace, and happiness. In this book, you will understand that it is very possible to be successful in your health but a failure in your wealth. You will see why rich people can stoop to the level of committing suicide despite their material possessions, because they feel they are failures when it comes to the pursuit of happiness and peace. Some people feel successful when they have healthy and sustainable relationships with friends, family, and associates. I know the question in the minds of most readers is, is it possible to experience overwhelming success in all aspects? Can I be happy, peaceful, wealthy, enjoy good health, and be successful in relationships? The answer to this question can be found as you delve into the pages of this book. Some people have achieved all-around success, while others have only experienced success with a few pillars. 
For those who have achieved all or almost all of these pillars, there is a strong chance that they have discovered a principle, a universal principle, called the law of success, that you will find explained in this book. Human beings are the same regardless of their race, class, achievements, or lack of them. They are all equal in their composition, being made up of a body, soul, and mind. And yet, despite these similarities, all of them have a unique definition of what success mean to them. As a tripartite being, it is important to understand that the body, soul, and mind all have their differences, but must work together to achieve overall success in any endeavor. In this chapter, you will discover, the oneness every human share, with the elements of nature. These six elements of nature are known as water, metal, fire, air, space, and earth versus six key components of you, the human form, and that is, body, mind, heart, soul, spirit which is higher soul, and chakras which is energy. Each of these elements of nature have their relationships, differences, and similarities, and represent certain meanings. For instance, water is the major portion of your body and health. Metal can mean power and strength, which represents your mind and wealth. Fire has the power to transform and illuminate darkness, which represents heart, your emotions, and family. Air is the soul of your love and life. Space is vast, open, and interconnected, you're your higher soul that governs you and gives peace while connected to the universe. Last but not the least, the earth can mean solidity or stability, which governs your chakras, and one can attain the highest level of spirituality that gives happiness, and puts you in the state of bliss, or what some gurus describe as flow of energy. The successful humans, the ones who have achieved a level of overall success in all facets, understand that their body, soul, and mind are the same as nature, and because nature is always successful, then they are always successful if they understand and apply the secrets of nature and align with them. Each of the elements of nature represents an aspect of the human form. The body is physical, which makes it water, and the heart, which is the birthplace of emotions, represents earth. The logical faculty of the mind is represented by fire, while the soul is represented by air, because of its transcendental nature. Finally, energy is represented by space. It must be noted that none of these elements are greater or better than the other, and to achieve success, all of them must be balanced just as nature ensures all her elements are balanced and well proportioned. Regardless of who you are, the path to success is often lined by 11 specific aspects, which are outlined below. 1. Innate success, inborn. You must identify what your inborn success is. This will help you master the rest of your life. 2. Inside success that is bringing inside to outside. You must bring out your hidden talents and inside qualities to push yourself and break down your barriers. 3. Inherit success. You will inherit success from your parents, siblings, relationships, from your ancestors, and your your previous birth, if you believe in reincarnation. 4. Inspirational success, that is learn from others. Life teaches you a lot and there's a lot to learn from others around you. 5. Imaginative success, which is thinking of what gave or could give you success. Something you may not be aware of could have given you success in the past. You also have to always redefine yourself in order to succeed continuously. 6. Independent success, which is succeeding all by yourself. You may be lucky enough to have a mentor on your path to success, but it's also possible to achieve success independently. 7. Impeccable success, which is with minimal mistakes. One of the best forms of success is achieving success with minimal mistakes. When you do make a mistake, Try to learn from it so you won't make it again and be more successful in the future. 8. Invaluable success which is other than money. Some achievements are greater than money, fame, and fortune. These successes are invaluable but they are also achievable. 9. Enabling success, which is making others succeed. There is a kind of success that enables others to succeed in what they do. This form of success is known as enabling success. 10. Giveaway success, which is transferring your success to others. 
A wise man once said, the number of people you bless is how you measure success. He was talking about giveaway success, which is the ability to give out of your success to others. 11. Legacy success, which is succeeding after death. Is it possible to succeed after death? Yes, it is, and it's called legacy success. This can be achieved by leaving a legacy in the hearts of men. Prepare to encounter the different levels of success, and how they combine with different pillars of success, all of which combine to produce 100 factors of success. In this iconic book, you will become acquainted with the 10 levels of success and how they are all interconnected. The first level is the foundation of success, which is known as vision and is the most important aspect of an individual's life. Without vision, there can be no progress, and without progress, there can be no success. The second level focuses on personal success, which is hinged on having the correct mindset. In that chapter, you will learn that with the right mindset, success is guaranteed and with the wrong mindset, failure is inevitable. The third level is about career success, where you will discover the all-important principles that have been used from time immemorial by individuals in different careers. If you study, understand and apply these principles, you will experience success. Level 4 explains succinctly, the laws that govern professional success, laws such as the laws of habits, growth, expansion, and the 1% rule. The fifth level is about entrepreneurial success, and if you are an entrepreneur, I believe you will benefit immensely from this level. Level 6 is all about leadership success, and explains in detail how important it is for aspiring leaders to learn the all-important hack of leadership. In level 7, the tools of financial success are explained. You will learn the difference between liquid assets, fixed assets, how to have a millionaire mindset, and most importantly, how to attract unlimited abundance. Social success and spiritual success are in levels 8 and 9, where you will learn the qualities of social success that can make you on top of your game in any community, and understand in detail the role of enlightenment in spiritual success. The last level, level 10, is all about legacy success. Legacy success has to be built, but a lot of people don't know how to do this. In this level, you will learn how to achieve this kind of success. At the end of this book, you will come to a realization, that the only factor responsible for success or failure is a small, three-letter word, you. Congrats. You have discovered the most wanted roadmap to lifelong to success. In the next video, you'll learn how to achieve level 10 success.